Hi, in this video, we will see how to we scrap data from the Salesforce website. At first, we will actually scrap the title of this website. This is the Salesforce blog page. If you go salesforce.com slash blog, then you will get this page. So our target is to get some data or to extract some data from this website. So before we starting at first, we need to set up a project and then after setting the project, at we can extract the data from the website very easily. In this tutorial, we will only extract the title of this page. Okay, so let's jump to the Visual Studio code. And here we already created on project. And this is inside it, this Python dash dev, which is located on my desktop here. And here we created uh, the virtual environment for this project. And now I'm going to create one file, uh, a Python file which extension should be .py. We can create Python file by clicking this plus button or file, new file in this way. Okay, so the shortcut is this one. So we just need to click over there and then it will open at this type of blank line. Here we need to type uh, the Python file name. So our goal was to extract this Salesforce web page. So we can put a name, something like salesforce.py or scrapping okay so i'm going to there and then i'm clicking here and then i'm typing salesforce dash scrap dot py this file okay or we can you can name it as you like okay so once you create that then we are ready to start developing our python code if we recall our previous tutorial, we know that at first we need to get the data from our website. So this is the website link. Okay, so let me copy the website link. So copy and then I'm typing on variable URL equal and this is string. So I'm typing the string here. So this is our URL. We need to use this to extract their data. Okay, so we need to call this website first. So we have to use the request method. Okay, request get method. So we need to import that thing. So to import, we have to write import, then request. And we already installed this uh, module or package in the previous tutorial. And then uh, this is the URL. Once we use this, then we are ready to call this method. Okay, so to call this method, we have to use the get method. Okay, and after requesting, we'll get some response. Okay, so we are getting, uh, we are actually defining on response uh, variable response, and then here we'll call request this class dot then get method. So this is the get method, and inside this get method, we have to pass the parameter that means this URL, and we have to type URL. Okay, so uh, we imported this thing, this module uh, or package, and then finally we are calling this method by request dot get this this method we are calling and then we are getting the response if you want to print this response uh, let's see what is what it will give us so i am typing print and then inside it i am typing response so this is the response and then if we run the application uh, we can click here at uh, this green uh, triangle or right click and then run python file in the terminal from this option so i'm going to click here and it will start running and it will give us some output okay and if we see that it is giving us this response response 200 that means uh, we are getting getting some data okay now uh, we got the request uh, we have some data okay that means it is uh, calling this uh, website and it is uh, getting the response okay now we need to parse this thing so to parse this thing we need to use the b tool soup so we also need to import that one so i'm writing import then bs4 from b tool soup and then we have to uh, define the soup Okay, we have to create the soup. So we can create the soup like something like soup equal to then B2 soup, then B2 soup, and inside it we have to uh, call the response response dot, and this is text. And we have to use on parser. So I'm using the LXML parser 
because we already installed it okay now um, if you want to check the soup we can do one thing we can uh, remove this response and we can type soup and once you type the soup then you can save and then right click and then run python file in terminal and once you type then we will get we are getting this error so basically what we, okay i typed one thing it should be from and then import sorry i typed the wrong information okay so from b2 soup and then uh, from b2 soup then import this import this module or package and then right click and then uh, run python file in the terminal and once you type the command uh, once you run the application you'll see this type of thing so that means it is getting the output so this is the whole html file of this website okay so let's clear this thing and then uh, go to the file and to uh, make this soup a bit too formatted way uh, we can use the command soup dot pt file there is a uh, method pt file and if we use that and if we run the uh, python file then the whole html file it will be formatted nicely and if we expand the terminal we will see that it is now it is in a formatted way so in this way you can use uh, pitbull soup uh, now let's do one thing so now our goal is to extract the title so if we right click and then view page source then it will be the uh, html code of this page and if we search here the title t-i-t-l-e title and we will see that this is the title okay our target is to extract this title from this website okay so we have our soup ready and to extract the title we have to do one thing soup uh, I'm removing this thing because we don't need this thing prettify soup dot then title because uh, this tag is under title okay so we are seeing that this is the title and if we run this thing then uh, what will happen right click run python file in terminal we will get that title object okay and here you will see that we are getting uh, this thing okay title object but our goal was to extract only the text okay so to extract the text we just need to add uh, a string okay and then it will uh, give us the text of this uh, title so right click and then run python in the terminal and now you will see we will get only the title so here this is the title okay we are getting this so in this way using beautiful soup you can actually uh, extract uh, the web uh, data from website uh, this was the, our first script and basically in this first script we just extracted the title but in the coming tutorial we'll extract some other things also like whole page or some particular content something like that okay as this is the introduction that's why i created this simple thing so that uh, you will understand the basic of the thing so basically what we did we used uh, we imported request and between soup and after that uh, we call the uh, url by using the get method request get method request is the package and there is a method get and then whatever we are getting then we uh, define that with a variable response so this is the response after calling uh, th that url that means this url okay and so once we get that then we create the soup object and we use between soup method and over there we passed uh, the response text and we used the lxml parser to parse those things and after that we are extracting uh, the data by soup.title uh, dot string title is the tag okay we saw that uh, from the code so this is the title object okay so we are calling soup uh, this is the whole uh, html document and inside that we are searching the title tag okay this is the title tag and after that from the title we are extracting the string and then uh, it is giving us this string and finally we are getting this output so fully uh, in this video uh, the thing which i try to uh, mention that how to uh, extract data using b2soup and 
I will just try to explain you how to extract the title of any website. Hopefully, you will be able to do that. And if you don't um, can do this, or if you don't know how to do this, or something like that, just watch the video again. And here I used the virtual environment which I created earlier. Uh, if you don't know what is that, and if you also don't know what is web scraping, uh, please check the other videos. Uh, which I uh, explained very clearly. Uh, it was a long video, I know, but just uh, spend some time to watch the video, then it will be very easy for you and uh, you will enjoy uh, how to scrap data and uh, this thing. Okay, and I will also give the um, whole playlist, uh, playlist link uh, down to the description. You can also uh, use that link to go. Uh, to check the video tutorials okay hopefully by watching this video you will able to extract uh, the title of any website and if you uh, feel this is useful and if it helps you uh, please share this with your friends or someone else also and don't forget to subscribe if you still didn't subscribe uh, if you subscribe then you will get uh, like latest videos where is whenever i will upload or publish uh, and thank you for watching thanks